In the small town of Clifton, Virginia, there is an urban legend about the Funny Man Bridge. The legend of the Funny Man is widely known throughout Northern Virginia. One variation of the tale suggests that a mental asylum was located in or around Clifton, Virginia in the early 1900s. The local residents rallied together and in unity created a petition in support of closing down the facility. After much effort, the facility was closed and all the patients were to be moved to neighboring jurisdictions. One day, while relocating a handful of patients, the bus they were in was involved in a terrible accident. All of the passengers fled the scene. After many weeks, all escapees were captured, except for two men, Douglas Griffin and Marcus Walster. While searching the area repeatedly, it is believed the local police discovered many half-eaten rabbit remains. Not all that surprising since Clifton is primarily woodlands and neighboring farms with abundant wildlife. It was while searching the Fairfax Station Railroad overpass the body of Marcus Walster was located. The police concluded that Walster survived evasion by eating the rabbits for sustenance. He was then nicknamed the Bunny Man. A few months passed since the bus accident, and having no new leads discovered, the police ended their search and presumed the other man, Douglas Griffin, had fled the area. Local teens, hearing of the accident and discovery of Walser's body, traveled to the area to look for grisly artifacts and to share details of the scary tale. Supposedly, on the evening of Halloween, just after midnight, several of these teens were hung from the tracks while their bodies draped over the top of the tunnel opening. One teenager who fell asleep from the effects of inebriation awoke hours later to discover the bodies of her friends, all hung, swaying above the gravel at the opening of the tunnel. She ran for help. Law enforcement arrived at the bridge, documented the scene, and removed the bodies. Unfortunately, no one believed the girl's tale, and subsequently she was arrested, found guilty, and sent to a facility for the criminally insane. Several years passed with no further incidents, while until the 1940s, whereby another group of thrill-seeking teens were discovered dead. Their bodies were beheaded and horribly disfigured. A bloody axe was found nearby. Thirty years passed until the next incident. Three more young teens were found murdered at the Bunny Man Bridge in the 1970s, each showing large gaping wounds. As of 2019, there have been no more murders associated with the Bunny Man Bridge location. Some believe Douglas Griffin either died or made it safely out of the area.